So in this problem, we have to drag the slider here to um, show us which one represents the strong acid. But before we do that, let's take a look and see what strong acids and, and strong bases are, and also weak acids and weak bases. So whenever we have an acid, the general rule whenever we're writing an equation is we throw it into water. So we have an acid and we throw it into water, it's gonna come up with H3O plus and A minus. Now if this is a weak acid, you're gonna have most of the HA staying as HA and only a little bit becoming H plus and A minus. If this is a strong acid, you're gonna have all this HA bring, breaking apart into H plus and A minus. Uh, with the base, whenever you have a base and you throw it into water, what's gonna happen is that base, since it's now a proton grabber, it's going to grab one of the protons and become HB, and the other one, and they're going to have an OH minus tail. Now, what is really important here is this: the only strong bases are ones that have OH minus on the end. So while while this right here, if we have a base being thrown into water, that's a that's a weak base always. If you have a strong base, it's going to be BOH. And if you take a look, what's going to happen is that the the, the water portion, the OH minus portion from the water and the B, they're gonna break apart into B plus and OH minus. If it's a strong base, it's gonna 100% break apart. If it's a weak base, you're gonna have some of this here still left. So let's go over here to our, our, our um, diagram. We're gonna see that we're looking for a strong acid. So if we look back at our diagram, over here our equation, what we want is we wanna see only H3O pluses and A minus. We cannot see any HAs. So if we look right now, in this very first diagram, we have no HAs, no gray and, and blue balls, but we have H3O pluses and A minuses. H3O plus, A minus, H3O plus, A minus. And also we have water molecules, which is makes sense because we're dissolving it into water. So right off the bat, we have a strong acid. Now, let's say we wanted to, to check and see whether some of the other ones were, 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 could possibly be a strong acid. Again, we'd be looking for just having H3O pluses and A minuses and some water molecules. Uh, here, we have a whole bunch of HAs. That means that they didn't dissociate very much, so it can't be a strong acid. Here we again have HAs. As soon as you see those, it can't be a strong acid. Here we have nothing. We don't have any A minuses at all. All we have is some H3O pluses. That's some weirdness. Here we have HAs and water molecules. Again, there's no dissociation going on there. Here we don't even have any um, A minuses. We do have a bunch of H3O pluses, but there's, that doesn't make any sense because for every H3O plus, we should have an A minus. Here we have a bunch of, of gray and blue balls like this. And what's really important on this is that if, if this was a, a dissociation, these, these little gray balls right here, which represent H pluses, they would be on the H2Os, but they aren't. So that's not an H3O plus. Although you might be inclined to think, well, they completely dissociated because the HA over here is now H plus and A minus, but that H plus has to be on the water molecule. And then finally, in this case here, we have a bunch of HA, so that doesn't work. So now let's look over here at the strong base. Strong base, we're looking for something over here. So you have the BOH, we want it to 100% break apart into B plus and OH minus. If we have any of these BOHs left, it's not a strong base. So if we take a look here, in our very first example again, see how we have B pluses and OH minuses, B plus and OH, mi OH minuses, B plus and OH minuses, all over the place, and then we have water molecules. So from the very start, the very first example we have again is a strong base. But let's look at these other ones, and again, what we're gonna look for is only B pluses and OH minuses. So here, we don't have any B pluses, so that can't be the case. Here we have B pluses, but we have no OH minuses, we only have water, so that can't be a strong base. Here we have a bunch of BOHs, right? Now, this right here means that we have a bunch of the, the, the acid, but it hasn't dissociated, so it, even a little bit. There's not even one dissociation, so that can't be a, a strong base, and it couldn't really even be a weak, weak base. Here we have uh, some, some of the BOHs, and we have some B pluses and OH minuses, so this would be a great example of a weak base. This right here, we have, uh, oh great, acids and its conjugates, but that's certainly not a base. And then here we have no B pluses at all. And then here we have a bunch of BOHs. So again, in both these scenarios, the only correct answer would be uh, one and one. Hopefully this has been helpful.